All right, this is the beginning of an injector replacement job. As you can see, we've got a fairly nice clean engine bay. And because some people don't like too much torque, I'm gonna to do less torque, more action. Taking the cover off. The intercooler, carefully take that off. When you do that, just check underneath at those five places, there's these little flat washers, make sure they don't uh, get lost. Place that cover over there, okay. Next, I'm gonna, since I've got the 10 mil in my hand, loosen off those clamps, like that, and put that down. And then grab the Special heat hoser removing tool in case I need it for any plugs, click, clips and clamps. As I've said in other videos, I may make things look easy or hard and that's because I've done a few of these, so that's why it probably makes it look easy. But sometimes because it's a video, things don't happen the way they're meant to, you know, because it's a video. It's the Murphy's Law thing, a bit like what's happening now. This should be released already by now, so... But, we'll just keep persisting, because we've got to carefully release those clips without damaging any clips. Or cl we like to put everything back exactly how it's meant to go. So, so I'm trying to get underneath. I think it's a classic case of, uh, I don't want to play. Just for the video. So some people, what they do, they edit that out because it's too hard, but we just persist and show you that even if you've done Plenty of these, they can be difficult to get out, but it comes out in the end. Carefully release all the plugs. Remember pressing to release the plug enough to slip it off, but without enough to do any damage to anything. Now with that wiring loom on the Hilux, this is a Hilux, we need to release some clips on that wiring loom as well, which we'll get to later once we've got the intercooler off. So next step is we'll remove the little math filter. So for that one, the tool of choice is, of course, the flat blade on the edge of the vacuum line while pulling like that. Usually it comes off fairly easy. Then the flat blade goes in behind the filter like that. And then this might pull off or it might not. Then I like to put the little hose tool in carefully without splitting the vacuum hose because it's probably never been off in 10 years and work your way around it while gently pulling and eventually it will pull off like that. Now I'll put that on the bench as well. Okay, so this side pretty well undone. Let's grab the little 10 mil. So a 10 mil quarter drive with a short extension usually works well if nobody's messed around with this and made things harder. That was a bit loose. I know the client's had it off. So if I remember, I'll remind him and say, well, just a little bit tighter on that clamp. I think he has anyway. He said he had the intercooler off to check out the EGR. So they'll, either in this video, I'm going to try and get this video short, guys. I've got 10 minutes, right? People, Some people complaining it's too long and I talk too much. So I'm going to talk less, sorry, you're going to get less information and the videos are going to be shorter so you get less information. So bang, we've got about six minutes to go. I'll stop talking, work as fast as I can. So we'll call this video maybe uh, removing the intercooler on a Hilux. Usually they come off if they're stuck. Of course they weren't stuck. I didn't need this because as I said, he said he's had the intercooler off. If they're stuck, you just, you know, pop that to crack the washer. The washer sticks to the rubber. I just put them up there because you can on the Hilux. It's out of the way. Can you see up there? You can't quite see in that picture, but it doesn't matter. It's all right. All right. Yeah. If we're to grab the inter the easiest way to do this is to grab it here, not by the sensor, grab it by the bulk of the intercooler, pull it forward gently like that, 
just enough to get it out of that rubber boot there and then you come around this side because you can take the weight of it and this side might be the side that is stuck or needs a bit of a and you just twist like that gently and pull up and off she comes put that upside down put a rag over each end put it on the bench somewhere so nothing ends up in there um okay next step next step is i will probably say did i undo that clint i'm not sure if i did normally i undo both of those so i don't know what i was thinking see what happens when you brush me yeah i meant to undo both undo both of those because yeah maybe i did it's just yeah, it's just stuck there i did undo it so i'll put that back where it was you probably would have remembered because you were watching, but I didn't. Okay, again that feeder hose tool. It may be stuck, so I'll have to get in behind it. You've got to be careful you do get between the alloy and the rubber as well. Not dig it into the rubber. Like, you know, when you're going in, you've got to make sure you get under it like that, in that gap there, not dig it into there and damage it, if you know what I mean. So you do really need to be careful that you get that right. And then that's how these hoses, hose tools work. And then we just grab it with a rag, allows you to get a good grip on it. Place that over here. Okay, how much time have we got left? Six and a half. Okay, what we're going to do now is, should have probably done it straight away, but that's right. We've only delayed a short period of time. I'm going to get a rag and just give this side of the turbo a careful wipe of any debris that might be sitting on inside the top edges. Give that rag a bit of a shake off over here so nothing falls in and then pick a clean corner of it and usually a bright color is good that'll stop you from forgetting that you've got it down there covering the turbo because some people do forget maybe you know if you've got a black rag or something like that so these things happen okay so all the little precautions you need now where was i so we've got the intercooler off okay good let's let's see if we get the throttle body off and get to have a look at this so this could be calling removing the, called removing the intercooler or checking your EJR. So undo that plug. Okay, I'm going to go grab a 12 mil. Where is it? 12 mil. I'm going to roll with. I don't think it's going to come undone with the impact driver because it may not have been removed before. So two nuts at the top. Crack those loose. Okay, and then to speed things up a bit, because we're on the clock, you're working me now. All right. One. Two, I'll just place those up there for now. Three. Four, put the impact driver down. Throw the body, just give it a, like that, to crack it. And it will come away like that. I'll grab my two nuts. I've got my two nuts and bolts. We'll go and place those on the bench somewhere together. In this case, it'll be this bench, ready to go for cleaning. Okay. Let's have a look in there. Let's take the camera, bada bing, and get in there. What do we got? Eight minutes 42. What are we going to do? Start removing the wiring loom or have a look in the EGR? Ooh, decisions, decision. Let's let's keep moving with the wiring loom first. And I will note that there's a lot of um, tape on all the wires here, so I don't know if someone's damaged or worried about it. So we're going to be extra careful not to bend and manipulate any of these wires out of the way. You can't see what I'm doing actually in the picture because um, I'm over at the air box. Unplug the MAF sensor. That's pretty straightforward. You know, I'm coming to the first clamp on the Hilux. Then we're going to disconnect the compressor, which is the little grey plug. Okay, that's that done. Then the other clip on the corner of the valve cover here. Bloody whatever. Then there's another bit of tape down there on the coolant temperature sensor. We're going to carefully release that plug without pulling on the wires. We don't know what people have done. I'll show you what I mean about this tape, guys. Tape there and tape there. So we're going to be careful with these wires. I assume there's not a problem. But there could be. Now we need the 10 mil again. I think you can do injectors just because you've seen this video continuously. But 
full length versions. That's the stuff that's in the VIP group. So that can get you started. Um, getting that wiring loom and plug the injectors. I like to use a rag for a bit of padding for my because you've got to press quite firmly on that hard plastic and maybe I'm a bit soft but when you've been doing it for a while you get a really quite a sore thumb. You can see all the injectors are unplugged now so that whole wiring loom other than there's a clip at the top here um, so that whole wiring loom will be able to neatly maneuver over here so it's out of the way of the whole job. That's the good thing about the Hiluxes. Okay, now I'll quickly show you these. We're going to have to end the video because we're at 10 minutes 40. Alright, let's go in. Okay. Going to need a light, aren't I? Got a funny feeling. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. That looks like a 200,000k vehicle that's had plenty of EGR flow and it's all a bit mushed out as it got older with the oil sort of trying to wash it through. If there was a clean that up and the blow bite kept going through there and there was a plate to reduce the flow of the EGR or something, that'd stay nice and clean and alloy. Anyway guys, that's it. Hope you got something out of that. Please give us a thumbs up if you like that one. That's the start of... Uh, an injector job or removing the intercooler, checking your EGR valve on a Hilux. Please, uh, if you haven't already, if you think I've earned it, subscribe, turn the bell on. Yeah, thumbs up. Any comments? Have you cleaned your EGR yet? Have you seen the other video? We've got full detail EGR clean. You might want to check that out. It carries on from here. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.